Sunday night. What is this show about? I'm talking slow because people tend to join in late and YouTube tends to cut the stream somehow in the beginning. So what is this show about? It's very simple. We copy trades of the big guys. I For real, this is because NSE and ex, I mean exchanges publish the data of open interest, which tells us what is the position of the big option sellers. Exchange also publishes FII futures data and options data and the cumulative open interest of futures of FIIs on India, which tells us what the foreign institutional investors are up to. Now, because they are big guys and we tend to think that the big guys know what is about to happen, which affectionately is called insider information in some circles, we know that uh, they are likely to be true. So instead of trying to predict market with our own intelligence and reading reports of who knows what, who writes what, we try to copy the data of the big guys. And that is what Kya Lag Raha Hai market is about. This show has been running for the last two years. Uh, without further ado, let's get uh, into Kya Lag Raha Hai market. Right. Um, so the first thing, of course, is uh, we will look at the Nifty charts. Give me one second, please. I'll shift to Nifty view. And back into the original setting. Uh, last week, I was in my hometown. Uh, oh, one second. Right. So uh, somebody Yogesh is asking, sir, aapko Hindi nahi aati. No, dude, it hai, but uh, it's just that we have a separate show in Hindi, which is purely Hindi, which is done by Sagar Kumar uh, every day. I'll just show, so you can go to YouTube and search for Sensible Hindi and you will see that happening. Um, so last week we said that if Nifty channel holds, then it is long. If channel breaks, we can have downside. And we said if on Friday we see consolidation, to break Thursday's high. So let me just convert tomorrow and today to Friday and Thursday. Thursday's high, then long, right? Now we know that uh, Friday mornings open. Uh, will was broken immediately on open, right? So immediately on open, it started trading above um, uh, Friday's low. And then it went up and after some time we could see that it broke uh, Friday's, uh, Thursday's high. Now, when Thursday's high was broken, what happened? There was a bearish engulfing candle here that got invalidated. Once it was invalidated, it just went up. And now we have what we call in mathematical terms as a local maxima of Nifty, right? But uh, for practical reasons, it's translates to this is the highest close Nifty ever had in its history, highest close. We have had a higher high in the past when we opened at 18,886 and we went down. But this is the highest close of Nifty, highest close of Nifty, highest daily close of Nifty again, I'm repeating. This is not the highest close of Nifty futures though, because it, we have had a higher close in futures in the past. But we now have a very firm grip on the channel. We are at a local high and we are poised to go for the next thing which we will not name because we don't want to jinx it right uh, 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 so um, so i'll quickly show the hindi channel uh, you know youtube.com slash sensible hindi so this is nifty now we will go to nifty's weekly analysis and weekly analysis it's a very clean bullish maribozu uh, no questions here, no doubts here, and we are likely to go up. So let me write both of these things down and let me get rid of that caption now. Okay, so Nifty spot, highest close, Nifty futures near all time high, daily candle invalidated. Uh, bearish engulfing of Thursday. Overall, Nifty chart setup looks uh, bearish. Sorry, bullish. Whoa, what am I thinking? Right. Um, now let's uh, go to Bank Nifty. Right. Bank Nifty is interesting because. This on spot chart, what you see is a bullish Harami, right? Now let's look at Bank Nifty futures also again 
bullish harami right it's below the previous all time high but this is a bullish harami so let's write both of this down it has broken the, so bank nifty it's a little tricky for me because there are multiple things right on the one hand you can say that it broke the channel and it's below the previous all time high on the other hand you could also argue that this is a bullish harami and it is likely to go up and i am tending to give more weightage to that for a very simple reason look at the volumes on the last two days ka candles right they are very very good volumes right this is like a classic bullish harami uh, volume setup because it's abnormally high both the red candle and the green candle compared to the previous days which is very nice uh, uh, so bank nifty looks very strong although you know there are other considerations this uh, uh, previous all time high the of course the channel is uh, it's outside the channel maybe it will come back who knows right now let me look at the bank nifty weekly charts also <laughs> weekly is very nice this is a clean bullish hammer because it tried to go below a level and after that the support came in it is bullish so daily candle bullish engulfing sorry bullish harami weekly candle bullish hammer right now of course it would have been way way better if this bullish hammer you are seeing so what are you seeing here you are seeing this right now instead of that if the head looked green then it would have been better but we will run with what we have it's a weaker bullish hammer but everything else is good the size of the hammer is very good there is a very long shadow which is again a strong signal the head is very tiny green would have been better but we'll take what we can so the chart setup of bank nifty also looks uh, bullish right bank nifty okay now let's look at dollar dollar is super interesting because dollar had a bullish harami on friday but it invalidated and broke down on uh, sorry on thursday it had a bullish harami then it invalidated and broke down and now we have a weekly bearish engulfing candle so dollar looks weak right so i'll just write that also dollar um, weekly candle is a bearish engulfing but you have to be careful with the bearish engulfing because usually uh, i mean it can be a continuation signal or uh, usually it's a continuation signal uh, uh, it can be a reversal signal at the top of a uptrend but this is at the bottom of a downtrend so you know there are there is some support here as you can see right you can see this right this is a triangular descending triangle and the, if it goes below 89 81 on futures of course it can crack down because this triangular pattern you are seeing here gets invalidated but if uh, this holds then dollar can have an upward breakout right so dollar has a triangular uh, in a triangular pattern a triang descending triangle descending wedge or descending wedge pattern uh, near the bottom of near the bottom right now let's look at uh, open interest i'll just quickly read some comments to see if something is missing uh, now uh, let's look at the current and next uh, okay mass put writing 18800 and 18700 are humongous supports there's hardly any resistance um, so let's write that down 18800 700 and 18800 are big supports no resistance yet pcr is 1.0 which is bullish so i am looking at the pcr which is around this territory i am not looking at the overall pcr right i am not looking at uh, total pcr which is this but i am looking at pcr around the atm um, which is around 1.0 these strikes only i'm looking at is around 1.0 and uh, as you can see this is a very strong setup finally let's go to fi data i'm pretty sure there are no surprises there yep no surprises first up more calls than put which is bullish overall outstanding second they bought 64000 calls and sold 47000 puts both of which are very very strongly bullish 
as if that is not enough they bought 1000 crores in stock bullish and another 800 sorry 1000 crores in futures 800 crore in stocks bullish right basically overall options daily options daily futures stock data and overall index oi is 20k 20k i suspect is among the highest ois we have had in the recent past let me just confirm that so this is around 18.4k let's round it as 20k we have not had oh yeah we have had i mean uh, on 30th may we have had bigger oi but um fi option data bought 60k 60 65k 60 let's just get the number right 64k calls and sold 47k puts right that is the number i suspect yeah and uh, on stocks uh, 800 crore 1000 1100 crore buy that is bullish crazy very crazy stock data 800 cr by bullish so what is my verdict see unless some mega massive unforeseen surprise happens market looks extremely bullish and staying long is the best thing to do do not short of course do not short because it has consolidated quite a bit below all time high so next time it tests all time high i don't want to jinx it but you know what is uh, likely to happen right i mean there is a possibility see when things consolidate under a particular level right very close to that level uh, it's very likely that it can break that level because see it's like think about it this way right there's like an army which is uh, you know assembling very close to the enemy's walls or defenses for a really long time waiting for something to happen what is that something that can happen uh, it's trying to gain more forces and you know it's calling more of its people here and finally it will make one push that's a very high possibility right now if a breakout is a real possibility then uh, long calls uh, long futures long bull call spreads anything works right anything with an rr greater than 1 works so um, you know because uh, are those harry potter novels behind me yes harry potter novels behind me uh, so uh, so here's the thing right uh, there is a possibility yeah mohammed kunyu is saying if it is in a rising wedge pattern yes it is a yeah it is in a rising wedge pattern you could interpret it that way also instead of the channel another thing you can do uh, mohammed kunyu is uh, i don't know if whether to call you kunyu or mohammed kunyu but uh, uh, or one sec i'll just show how what he means by the rising wedge pattern so look at it this way right you can also draw this like this right and it is that it, it is like you can you can see this happening right and finally it can break it there's a possibility it can break out of the wedge let's not predict the future right but um, basically this is doing up down up down up down consolidation and finally it's so if you draw if you connect these dots sorry there are key kaun sa dots connected kar liya maine sorry i'm just uh, i'm not the best user of trading view that i know of i'm not even like an average user of trading view that i know of. but let me try to connect this so here you can see the bench right so if i connect these points oh my god i really 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 get this thing sorry sorry last time i'm connecting this i'm connecting this and without further ado oh thank god so you can see this wedge right this is a what he means is this wedge so if if you look at this thick line at the bottom of the channel thick line you can see it could also be a triangle see whichever way it is 
we know that there is a very strong support running at the bottom and that's it right so basically uh, my view is that things look very uh, uh, strong everything looks strong and maybe it's not a bad idea uh, that um, maybe it's not a bad idea to stay long and not short at this level till we get a definitive reversal signal right so basically dollar up bank nifty up uh, uh, dollar uh, sorry usd and not down mohammed is asking please take a 2 hour chart okay i have taken the 2 hour chart okay okay yeah i see what you mean i'll i'll show it tomorrow in that that email that you sent uh, uh, last time tomorrow yeah, i'll pakka one second let me see if i can show it tomorrow today itself uh, to our chart let me see if i can bring it uh, one second i'll just uh, take a you not seeing that to Unfortunately, I'm not able to see that mail. One last try and search. Yeah. Plenty of people have actually shown the ascending wedge. Uh, one second, I'll just show the wedge also. But let me uh, go through it tomorrow, you know, with some attention and make sure that uh, what I'm say, showing is right. <laughs> but anyway, so overall, right, uh, looks like we are close to ATH. We, it, it doesn't make sense to short near ATH unless you get a definitive reversal signal, right? So basically, till a reversal signal comes, it may not be a good idea to short. Of course, uh, if you think that the all-time high is getting tested again and you want to short, it's up to you, but I have to say this one on spot chart, we have closed above the previous all time high. That's very important. Second thing is, uh, there is a lot of consolidation happening. Third thing is when an all time high is uh, getting tested, you should not short it only on confirmation of price action about a reversal. Should you short it? Right. So, uh, Justin is asking what's the email ID, uh, Abhay, that's sensible .com. uh, so so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow regardless of whether your question is short or long over the weekend i hope you make money as always uh, please take care and keep your capital